Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. I'm back. I've pulled out all of the pages, like actual pages from my junk. And I've got to be careful because this one has my address on the back of it, but it is a trifold. And it's the only white page that I have that's blank like that. I do I do throw a lot of stuff away. So I'm trying to keep this journal so it's not so massive, um, but also to have enough pages to make a journal out of. And I've decided that this is kind of, kind of a little bit maybe cheating using an old um, journal book that has so many pages in it. But I have so many of these that it just seems ridiculous um, to not, to save them because I can't send these to school with my kids for the beginning of the school year. Cause they asked for, you know, 70 sheets and you know, there might only be 60 on this one. I don't know, but, um, I'm just going to use two actual lined pages in my journal and then the rest of them, I mean, I'm not going to use this whole pad, but the rest of the things I'm going to use to back journal cards and tags and things like that. So, um, I also got some of these little treat bags. I don't know if I'll use these it might actually be too thin and rip, but I thought that was kind of a Kind of another thing I wanted to show you from the pile. Uh, I also want to show you that I was working in my collage. Here, let me grab it. This is my collage book that I made, I think, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. And I did do three pages in here that were made using Just Junk. I'll link that video down below on this video so you can watch me. But I just pulled them out of here, and they were made completely out of junk. The only thing that I didn't use that was junk was one napkin that my friend Elkie from Germany sent me. And that's what you see here as the pretty accent. Now, this fresh came off of a donut bag or a bakery bag. So I wanted to use one of these as an actual page, maybe two, um, and then the other one or two for journal cards or tag or belly band or pockets or whatever, just to have some other things. So I've been saving these to use in my junk journal. So treasure junk journal, there we go. Um, so this is as far as I've gotten. I sit here, right here, I'm working on that one. And that's, I've got about halfway. So just a quick little flip. And this is all using scraps. Isn't that one pretty? Just did that one like last week. I do this upstairs uh, when we're watching TV, when I get a little bit of relaxing time and I just kind of um, sit there and, and play. So that is that. Um, um, here's all my magazines. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use any pages from my magazines in my junk journal because they are like, like that's pretty, but they're pretty, pretty small. Oh, I like that. I like the map. <laughs> okay. We're not, anyways. Um, but I haven't had a chance to like go through and see kind of like what, ooh, see, um, <laughs> what is in here to use. Um, and then this one I know I'm not going to use as a page. I'm just going to find things in here to cut out. And it does have more of Christmas stuff in here. So there might not be a whole lot to, um, actually use as decorating, but I mean, we're going to try and then all of these as well. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and craft silently and I will speed this up and do a voiceover because I've been talking so much today that I just need to rest my voice while I craft and then that allows me just to turn on some music and create. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the process of me folding and putting the pages in order. Well, I will talk to you here at the end or I guess I'll just do a voiceover. So from this point forward, it should be double speed. All right. Everyone, here we go. I am going to begin by sorting my pages by white or gray and then by color. And these are going to be my base pages that are true paper. And then I will go on to the magazine page, the collage page, and then the lined pages. And also my envelopes or smaller pages that are going to be more of the specialty pages is what I would call those. And I wanted my journal to have plenty of variety and texture. I don't want them all to be glossy. And so I'm looking through the magazines going, oh, this is just going to be so much gloss. So I'm going to tear it apart so I can have a big giant magazine page in there and have it be a double sided. So it will be going the right direction because that does help me to craft better when the words are going the right orientation. And I also want to go ahead and incorporate other elements that maybe aren't as glossy. And so I do use a couple of the hunting regulation pages because they are a thicker page, but they are very newspapery feeling. Um, so they're a different texture. 
I also am looking through this house decor magazine and I'm finding pages that I want to use, but not as actual pages, just kind of liking the background or the textures or the words, but I love that Paris page. Of course, I had to tear that up. And the fairy page with the dandelion, super cute. So I have a few pages chosen here and I'm gonna go ahead and arrange them. I've decided as I pulled out all these pages that I have too many to make one signature like I was originally planning. So I end up making two signatures. And I want to work with putting the same colors together so that the transition is really nice between those colors. So I have my red with my reds and orange and yellows together with the reds. And then I have the pink and the purples. And then eventually we have green and blue. And in between that, I'm putting in the receipt pages, envelopes, the line pages, and then um, making it work and flow all together. And right now we have a hot mess going on. I will be honest, I'm going, wow, what have I got myself into? <laughs> um, but I do, um, I think make it look quite nice towards the end here. Once it's all put together, it's not as random feeling. And I really think that using all these elements was fun. It was definitely a struggle being able to incorporate a big giant magazine page and then a small page. And I really, really wanted to use that scarlet small page. And in the end, I decide not to. It's too small of a page and I end up tucking it later on into a pocket. Now, not in this video. I've done three other videos since this one. This particular video here took me, I believe, 45 minutes to actually make and record. So I've shrunk it down quite a bit for you guys. So you're not so bored watching me flip through here and decide what order, but it is kind of fun to see it all come together and you know how I make my decisions and eventually how it comes to how you guys see it. I think it's kind of a fun behind the scenes look. And I know that I want this big giant house page. So I have two house pages that are full page and I'm gonna use those as my front signature cover. And I'm struggling in this moment to decide which direction I want them to go. I know I want them to see the whole image. And um, in the end, I am able to use the full image as the front cover. But um, right now I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna go back and keep going with the second signature because that's that was the end page on that first signature was a house. And so I just said, okay, I'm gonna work on the second signature now. And I'm just putting the same colors together, making it flow nicely, knowing that I'm gonna use that full magazine page as a pocket. So I've got a blue page or massively cream and blue. And then the other one is red and a beautiful pink tone. So I don't want that blue with that red is too clashy for me. So I'm going to use the pink tone and I'm going to go ahead and put this gray page in there to break it up. But in the end, I end up moving that page out of there. It doesn't stay there. See, <laughs> so as I work through here, I'm like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it the way it is because I like it. I really liked the order that it was in. I was just having a hard time transitioning to that red because I kept feeling like I needed to use that blue house page for some reason and I don't I end up using the yes the the that one <laughs> the scarlet one it's beautiful and I'm going to go ahead and attach a full gray sheet on the back side just because there's enough room and I'll be able to fold it over and I plan on doing that with the second signature as well I believe I end up with 12 pages per signature so I had so many pages that I could do two different signatures in here I hope you enjoyed watching this quick process and it gives you um, some inspiration to go grab some junk and just kind of put, put it together and play with it. I really had fun and I hope you did too. I am looking forward to seeing you in the next video and you will see all the changes that I've made to this project since this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.